So let's answer a fundamental question. What actually is technology transfer? Well, technology transfer is a process of enabling the use of technologies from a high-tech environment in another application domain. Good examples are the use of Formula One technology. Developments in the engine of Formula One cars often trickle down in normal cars a couple of years later. Another idea is using the methodologies for developing new drugs in fundamental academic research. If those, academ if those methodologies would speed up the development of a COVID-19 vaccine, I think we have a cool technology transfer. Another one is the use of an experimental food heating device from space in your own kitchen to heat your plate at home. One could wonder, why should we do technology transfer? Why is it valuable? Well, the technology development in high-tech areas is often supported by government money and it also pushes the limits of technology. So, by to increase the reach of that government money and to help others to use that technology, we do the process of technology transfer. The learnings and knowledge that emerges during the development of high-tech environments can also support innovation in other areas. So basically, by doing technology transfer, you help other companies to innovate with really cool technology and therefore strengthen their competitive advantage, as you also allow the use of a much broader audience. The technology is really used by much more people if you engage in technology transfer activities. So why would technology transfer need facilitation? Doesn't it happen by its own? Does the technology from high-tech environments flow naturally to low-tech environments or to other application domains? Well, it does happen, but it's very fragmented and it's a really slow process. So by supporting the entire process of tech transfer, we speed up the innovation process. We help companies to go to market faster with new inventions and to push their competitive advantage. So this is something we do by, by really looking at the hurdles that block it. An example of this one is that high-tech development companies sometimes really are not interested in other application domains. It's simply not their strategic focus. So by connecting them with companies that are active in the other markets, we open opportunities and we create a process that really speeds up. If you want to know more about the technology transfer process and how we actually support it, I invite you to have a look at our next videos where we will dive in depth in the entire process. Music